Floor leaders from both the ruling and opposition parties were also present at Choga Temple in Seoul in an apparent attempt to capture the hearts of voters ahead of an upcoming by election in October. With several lawmakers from both parties on trial for election law violations, party leaders are scrambling to woo the public and recruit new talent. Our E.G. Yoon has more. A total of 15 lawmakers are currently being tried for either violating the election law or receiving illegal political funds ahead of last year's April general elections. Of the 15, 10 of them are from the ruling Henry Party. This means that if they're found guilty, their seats will be up for grabs in the October by elections, which could also mean the ruling party could lose its majority in parliament if it loses its seats to opposition candidates. So the ruling party has already begun preparing for the elections in a bid to regain the public support. It recently announced plans to strengthen its talent recruitment committee and reform its candidate nomination process. A political party's goal is to win trust in an election. Every election serves as a gauge of public sentiment, so we will try our best to not let the Korean people down. The main opposition Democratic Party is just as eager to win in October. With the new party leader and floor leader in place, the opposition party is also looking to create a committee to recruit talented candidates while reforming its nomination process. The party has been struggling to reform itself since its presidential election defeat last December and its defeat in the April by-elections. A new Democratic Party will not avoid public judgment in any election. It will compete fairly and abide by the public's orders. Back in April, the Democratic Party took a hit after former presidential candidate An Cheol Su won in Seoul's Noan district. Political analysts say that there is a possibility that An could field candidates in regions once dominated by the DP in October, which would make it harder for its candidates to win seats. Lee Jun, Arirang News.